people look at me and, and probably think of me as a collector, but I really am not a collector. I think collectors are a different breed altogether. I, I'm definitely obsessed by old cars, or obsessed by cars generally, or machines. And I'm very grateful, I'm very lucky, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm desperately lucky, and I know how lucky I am to have this stuff, but everything I have has got a purpose. I, or, or it's a particular car that I, I went after. So I, I know a lot of collectors will have a, a wish list, they'll have a generic list of cars that they want to have in their collection. Whereas I'm the other way around, I'm very much, uh, there's a particular car I want, or there's a particular model I want, or a particular something, and I will go to <laughs> what some people see unreasonable lengths to try and get those, those particular cars or particular uh, uh, machines. And um, whether that means that I'm a bit weird, I don't know, but it certainly seems normal for where I'm sitting anyway. Uh, it seems perfectly normal because you're driven by those passions and it is very much a passion or an obsession. Restoring this car, I think I use all the experience I had from the other cars. I wouldn't have done, wouldn't have been able to do it if I hadn't done, worked on, had the experience of working on the other cars and bikes beforehand. And I learned so much from doing it. And um, I think I enjoyed the journey of restoring it and researching it and getting the details right, certainly as much as driving it. Really, really lucky to have a wheel nut, let alone a, a Bugatti. Bought at a time, luckily, when prices weren't quite so unattainable. Uh, this is Bugatti's archetypal Grand Prix car, designed in 1924, based on a Fiat, interestingly enough. Uh, but the one everything, won so many things in 24 and 25, the Type 35 Bugatti. It was the, it's the Bugatti that everybody thinks about when you think of a Grand Prix car. Really, really lovely. It's the first time I've driven it this year, and uh, every time I drive it, I keep on thinking I should drive it every day of the week. It's just beautiful. Other people's enthusiasm for what I do inspires enthusiasm in me. And it's, it's nothing better than something that seems relatively normal to me is appreciated by, by somebody else. But there is an element of fun you can have with transport that isn't necessarily uh, showing off. It isn't necessarily about having a supercar. It isn't necessarily about being the fastest. It's just about enjoying the heritage of motoring and how much fun it can be and how, much pra how practical it can be.